After celebrating Mass in Palermo, the Pope went to the Mission of Hope and Charity supported by Biagio Conti, a layman totally dedicated to the poor. There he had lunch with a group of poor and migrants. <laughs> Pope Francis walked around their tables greeting 160 people and ate with them slices of bread with oil, cheese and rice. For dessert he had a typical Sicilian dish, canolo, a delicious sweet in the shape of a small tube typical from this Italian region. After lunch the Pope went to the central place of the visit, the Pino Polisi neighborhood. First he stopped to visit his parish, St. Gaetano. He then visited Pino's house. There he was greeted by this image. The inhabitants of the neighborhood hung white sheets from their balconies, symbols of their popular rejection of the Mafia. It was one of the images of the visit to Palermo. The Pope first prayed at the exact spot where the priest was assassinated on the morning of September the 15th, 1993, on his birthday. Today he would be 81. He then visited Pino's house, now a museum. Father Pino Polisi was known as the kindly priest who challenged the Mafia. His social concern and dedication to the youngest in the neighborhood cost him his life. At the end of the visit, Pino Polisi's brother was among those who greeted the Pope. The whole of Sicily recognizes the courage of this priest. The early 90s were hard times for Palermo. A year earlier, the magistrates Giovanni Falcone and Paolo Porcellino were assassinated. John Paul II visited Palermo in 1993 to ask for an end to the violence. The church recognized Pino Polisi as blessed in 2013.